The Xeo 20 wireless speakers are of the second generation Xeos that now also offer wireless playback at 96 kHz, while the speakers and the remote control have been developed further. Let me start by saying that, like the ELEC Navi speakers I reviewed earlier, the Xeo 20s can be used wired and wireless, where wireless means that there is no audio connection needed. Both speakers do need their power cable connected to the mains outlet though. Time to explain how these speakers can be used. The Xeo 20s come in pairs, one being the master speaker and one being the slave. Both have their own power amps, but the inputs are only on the master speaker. If you use the speakers directly connected to your digital source, like a streamer, DAC or digital preamp, it must be connected to the master speaker over Toslink, the optical digital cable. The master speaker then sends the signal wirelessly to the slave speaker. There is no need for an audio connection between the speakers as is the case with some other wireless speakers. If you have an analog source, like a CD player or an analog preamp, that source is connected over a stereo RCA cable. An analog source like a portable player or smartphone can be connected using a mini jack cable. Playing music from a smartphone, tablet or computer over APTX Bluetooth is possible too, but do realize that Bluetooth connections limit the sound quality. For directly connected sources the maximum sampling frequency is 192 kHz that will be downsampled in the master speaker to 96 kHz to be sent to the slave speaker. If you would like to use the Xeo 20s without any connection between the source, your stereo and the speakers, you need to Dynaudio Connect. This is a small box that you can place near your source. If that is a digital source like a streamer, digital preamp or computer, you can use either Toslink, SPDIF or USB to link to the Connect. The Connect sends the audio signal wirelessly to the master speaker that relays the signal wirelessly to the slave speaker. If you have an analog source like a preamp or analog output of a CD player, you can use a stereo RCA cable. For portable devices a mini jack cable can be used. The remote lets you choose easily between any input on the speaker and the connect, so you could connect the optical output of your TV directly to the Xeo 20 master speaker and your stereo components to the inputs of the connect. Since the volume is controlled by the remote control of the speakers, there is no need for a preamp. When using the connect with only one pair of Xeos, the maximum sampling rate is 96 kHz. If you want to use two or three pairs of speakers, the maximum sampling rate becomes 48 kHz due to the bandwidth limitations of Wi-Fi. The Xeo 20 is a monitor type active two-way system that measures 180 by 320 by 257 mm and weighs 6.2 kilos. That's 13.7 pounds in the Queen's measures. They are available in black and white. The tweeters are 28mm Isotec soft domes and the woofers have 140mm magnesium silicate polymer cones. Both have aluminium voice coils. Below that, just above the Dynaudio logo, the status LEDs for power, connection and infrared reception. When we look at the rear, we see a slot type base port, four screw holes for an optional wall mount and the connection bay. This is the master speaker that has a stereo analog input on mini jack, a stereo analog input on RCA's, a Toslink input and a shaver type power connector. Further a three position switch that compensates for the low end behavior for placement in the corner, near a wall or free in the room. A second switch lets you set the speaker for reproduction of the left or right channel and a three position switch to use the speakers in one of three zones, called red, green or blue. On the slave speaker we see the same switches but there are no inputs with the exception of the power inlet. The electronics is mounted on the metal rear plate with the power supply on top 
the two 65 watt amps in the middle and the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi radios on a separate small board. The DSP electronics that does the filtering and tailoring cannot be seen here. This small box connects your sources and sends the signal wirelessly to the master speaker. It holds three status LEDs for Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and connection to the master speaker. It measures 140 by 32 by 105 mm and weighs 200 grams. The rear offers analog inputs on 3.5 mm mini jack and a set of RCA's. For digital there is a Toslink input, an SPDIF input and a mini USB input. Two buttons facilitate pairing to Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. The ID switch lets you choose between Wi-Fi at 2.4, 5.2 or 5.8 GHz. The latter is least used by other devices and is therefore the best choice. Both 5.2 and 5.6 GHz don't travel through walls as good as 2.4 GHz. This means that your neighbor's Wi-Fi won't reach you as easily as those high frequencies and might therefore be preferred over 2.4 GHz unless you do want your Wi-Fi connection to travel to another room. Position C is the highest frequency. The micro USB called service is not for you but the 5V DC input is for connecting the supplied wall ward. Since there are no controls on the speakers the remote control is of great importance. Dynaudio has thought about the layout of the previous model and came up with this one. As you can see on the top the mute and the power on and off buttons. Although they don't switch off the speakers they merely put them asleep and wake them up again. Then the large volume up and down buttons, also quite standard. The improvement lies in the two rows of input selectors. The left four are for the direct inputs on the Xeos while the right seven are for connection to the connect wireless unit. The button three lets you select from the three groups while the top four select the input of that group. Once connected things are quite simple. The Connect seeks to connect to the speakers and once established you just operate a remote to control the inputs and volume. You can adjust the bass a bit by using the position switch on the rear of the speakers. Neutral gives you the most bass, wall somewhat less and corner the least. The new remote gives you easy access to eight inputs if you also bought the Connect. Three on the speaker direct, one over Bluetooth and four on the Connect. The Xeo 20 produces an interesting mix of Dynaudio quality and DSP speakers. Dynaudio produces passive speakers from small monitor types to titanic towers all producing well balanced, fast and accurate sound within the restraint of the relative price range. DSP speakers, the good ones, produce deeper bass than possible with passive speakers of the same size and appear to have a distinctive sound. There are those that love it for it gives a very lively sound, but there are also those that are less enthusiastic. The Xeo 20s sound upfront, fast and live, quite different from the somewhat more laid back sound of the Elac Navis ARB 51s I reviewed late 2017. Building speakers is choosing between compromises and my guess is that the Xeo 20s will find a wide public. But don't take my word for it and try to listen to them. If you don't like them the Elax might be interesting to you. Neither one is more correct and both are of very high quality. They are two good ways of approaching good sound quality. As I have said before, perfection is a goal, not a reality. And it is clear that Dynaudio had that goal as objective. What's not to like? At about 2200 euros including VAT, 2550 euros including the Connect, you buy a complete stereo with the exception of a source. That can be a CD player, a streamer, a computer, a network bridge or anything else with a digital or analog output. That source doesn't even need to be in the same room if appropriate remote control for the source is available. 
This is why you, the consumer, like wireless speakers. Ok, you do need to connect both speakers to the mains, just like a table lamp, but usually sufficient mains outlets are available in the room. It's the bulky equipment and all the audio cables that are not liked by the aesthetics commission. And those are omitted by using wireless speakers like the co 20s Again, check them out yourself for different people like different approaches on sound. Quality wise it is a very good product at a very good price. Other manufacturers announce comparable products and I will certainly try to review them as well if I think they might be of interest and if I can get review samples on loan. So if you don't want to miss new videos, subscribe to this channel or follow me on the social media so you know when new videos are out. If you like this video give it a thumbs up. Many thanks to all that support this channel financially. It keeps me independent and thus trustworthy. If you also feel like supporting my work, links are in the comments below this video on YouTube. I'm Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you in the next show or on the HBproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.